Hey guys, Reese here again for C Mango. This time to review Reborn Chapter 397. So this chapter focuses on the battle against Big Pino and Small Gia. These guys are two of Bermuda's four remaining Vindis. In the previous chapter you have Enma, Suna and Basil defeating Alejandro in the Rocky Mountains. This guy uses gingerbreads, the gingerbread puppets, if you remember seeing them from the future arc. Yeah, Suna and em, Suna, em and Basil pretty much dominated them and then flew to the parking lot where they had to back up Chrome, Gokudera, Yamato and Flan. So yeah, this battle we find that Small Gear is basically a weapons master. He specializes in melee weapons, not enjoying like all the automatic weapons or so stuff like guns. He prefers to use things like maces, you know, just normal basically melee weapons. And you have Big Pino, this guy is huge and he carries basically all the small Gia's massive armour of weapons. Him himself carrying a massive cannon which is the only thing he uses. So yeah, small Gia basically takes on both Suna, Enma and Basil. These guys kind of a bit, okay what's he going to do? He comes in straight away with his attacks, barely, like just basically kind of outclassing them. Pretty much kind of outclassing them because they don't really know what to expect. He ends up pulling out a little combo where he catches Basil, throws him into the air, and then Big Pino then fires his cannon, and that basically ends up being the end of Basil. His watch is destroyed and he's now out. But you know what? Basil's kind of a waste anyway. I'm not even too sure why he was in the team with Enma and Suna in the first place. He's kind of weak. So I mean, the well, first time we see him was against Squalo back in the ring, the ring arc. He was getting taken. He was getting basically beaten up then. Second time we see him in a future arc, he didn't really do much anything memorable then any either. What he was able to do is bring out his dolphin box weapon which he used to basically come up with some combo attacks, so he's kind of yeah, he's just useless and weak. As you can tell, I'm not really a Basil fan, I don't really like him too much. So yeah. Anyway, G is able to then use a kind of reflect mirror I'm gonna call it a mirror shield because that's what it pretty much looked like. He used this to kind of blind Suna. And just is about to deal the final blow, then Yamato steps in. Yay, Yamato. This guy he's a good guy. He's a good he's a good character, I like him. He then use he then tries to restrain Gia and then at the same time Gokudera goes up against Big Pino. Both of them using some using a few combo attacks. Using combo attacks with Enma, use of Enma's gravity to bind the two Vindis and Flan's ability, Flan's illusion ability mixed with Verde's machine, he was able to basically create a ceramic armor around Gokudera and Yamato, shielding them from Gokudera's bomb attack. Using the bomb attack, they basically blow up Pino and Gia's block battle watches, meaning that they're now out of the tournament. So, as this basically say to you, they're basically saying, do not underestimate the power of the Vongola, which you really can't. These guys have basically gone through so much together, soon as little family, and each time they just come out on top. So yeah, this chapter basically says a lot. The first thing is obviously that Basil's just useless. <laughs> I don't know if any of you like Basil out there, but me personally, I don't really like him. And the second one, the second point really is that you really can't underestimate these guys. It's like you got Goku, Dera, and Yamato. In terms of power-wise, they're kind of B-class compared to other enough. Suna and Mer, they're like A-class boss guys, and then you've got the Vindis who are basically class as S-class people. They're really powerful. Yeah, using that, using the combos, these B-rank characters are able to take out two S-rank Vindis. So yeah, it's a pretty good chapter this week. Next week, hopefully, they should then now go to the battle. Well, one the biggest battle in in the actual series, where you got Dino, Mukuro, Zanza, Squalo, and Byakuron taking on Jaeger. That is going to be a big battle because I want to see what Jaeger can really do. So I mean, come on, this guy is supposed to be the, the top of the top of all the Vindis. He's the most powerful guy. And if five guys, if about five of the top ranked characters are taking him on, you know something's going to happen. So yeah, guys, that is Reborn Chapter Three Nine Seven. So uh, if you like the video, click like. Don't forget to leave some comments. Love to hear from Reborn fans. See what you guys think of the series and just what you think in general is going to happen. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this chapter. And hopefully next week's it'll get even better. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.